Hello, this is Bryce from the floor, and today I would like to talk about how to increase the power on your ground stroke. All right, so the first thing that I want you guys to understand is that power in the ground stroke doesn't necessarily come from hitting the arm with a lot of power, okay? So power in the ground stroke primarily comes from how we are able to contort the body and, and the kinetic chain that we're able to develop. So really, it, power more so comes from the legs and the coil, all right? So what we wanna think about is this. Imagine that you're standing like this and you're coiling, just like this. We're gonna bend, sit in that chair, turn, and then lift. From the side view, bend, sit in that chair, turn, and then lift out, okay? That's how we generate the power in our ground stroke, by essentially coiling and then exploding out like this, okay? So when we wanna hit a ground stroke, all right, I want you guys to put more attention into the waist, okay, and, 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 the, and the legs, making sure you're sitting in the chair, generating a lot of kinetic force and power. You want to load from the back foot and then explode out into the front foot, okay? And when you move in to your, to your shot, we want to make sure that we're not spinning out, okay? Meaning that we don't want to spin all the way out on our ground stroke where our body's facing out of the court. We want to try to finish with our belly button facing the side net post, all right? So for instance, if we're hitting a, a forehand on our right side, we want our belly button to finish towards that side net post because that's going to conserve the energy that we stored in our kinetic chain when we're moving into contacting the ball, all right? So if you're looking for more power on your ground stroke, don't focus so much on the arm, focus on Bending the knees, coiling the waist, loading from the back foot, and then exploding out into the front foot. All right? And then make sure you're bending the knees and sitting in the chair, and then not spinning all the way out and finishing towards that side net post, okay? So do all those things, and then you're gonna see massive results on your ground stroke, and you're gonna be able to hit with a lot more power when you're playing tennis, all right? So thank you so much. This is Bryce on the floor with another tennis improvement video. If you would like free video analysis where I analyze your strokes and help and give you any tips that you can improve, click the link below, fill out the form, send me any questions that you may have. And also, if you would like my free serve course where you can learn how to hit incredible serves, click the link below, enroll in the free serve course, and learn how to hit incredible serves. This has been Bryce on the floor with another tennis improvement video. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, great luck out there on the tennis court. Thanks.